Hi, fourth graders. Today, you are going to be practicing your fluency combined with accuracy and self-correction. To read with accuracy means to recognize each word you read and pronounce it correctly so that the text makes sense not only for you, but also for people listening to you. Good readers work to improve accuracy and automaticity, the ability to recognize letters and words quickly and correctly. They monitor their reading and correct any mistakes they make, such as mispronouncing words or skipping words. If a part of the text does not make sense, you should pause, use context to confirm the word recognition, and then self-correct. I am going to read the first paragraph out loud to you. In Western Australia, there are the pink lakes. These natural lakes are pink as the result of a mistake. They get their color from the presence of algae. The lakes contain salt water. The high levels of create carotenoids. Carotenoids are organic pigments that can be found in plants and other organisms such as algae. Carotenoids are usually yellow to red in color. As I read that first paragraph, I made many mistakes. As I was reading, I could tell that there were words that did not sound right. I also noticed that some sentences didn't make sense when I read them the first time. Let's first focus on some of the words that I said incorrectly. The first one was Australia. The first time I read it, I read it as Australia. That's not a place that I recognize, but if I go back and notice that it starts with a capital letter, that tells me it's a location. And if I apply different letter sounds that I know those letters can make, I can try to read the word again. Australia. That's a word I recognize. I know that continent. Then I came to the word algae. The first time I read it, I said algae. Algae is not a word that I know. If I pay attention to the context clues, I know that we're reading about pink lakes and that they get their color from the presence of something in the water. I know from background information that algae grows in water. So instead of saying algae, I can say algae. The last word that I kept making a mistake on was carotenoids. I was reading that as carotenoids, but if I look at the O-I, I know that O and I together can make the oi sound, carotenoids. Now that we've addressed some of the words that I said incorrectly, let's go back to one sentence that really didn't make sense. It was the second sentence. These natural lakes are not pink as the result of a mistake. I had read it the first time leaving out the word not. That made the rest of the paragraph confusing. What I should have done is paused, looked back at the sentence, noticed that I left a word out, and read the sentence again from start to finish. Taking all of this into account, I am going to reread the first paragraph paying close attention to accuracy and self-correction. In Western Australia, there are the pink lakes. These natural lakes are not pink as the result of a mistake. They, their color, wait a minute. They get their color. They get their color from the presence of algae. The lakes contain salt water. The high levels of salt create carotenoids. Carotenoids are organic pigments that can be found in plants and other organisms such as algae. Carotenoids are usually yellow to red in color. As you work on reading this passage today, 
make sure that you pay attention to reading every word with accuracy. And if you make a mistake, make sure that you pause, correct your mistake, and then start again at the beginning of the sentence so that you can read the whole sentence fluently. Good luck, fourth graders.